Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into NFL Daily. Cam Rogers with you live. Tom Downey alongside. Lot to get through Sir. throughout the hour here, Tom. Let's jump right into it. We've got the developing story that is surrounding Janoris Jenkins' brother as we stand. So the breaking news is actually that William Jenkins, Janoris Jenkins' brother, has been charged with aggravated manslaughter in the death of Roosevelt Renee, a 25-year-old music producer who was found dead on Tuesday, Tom. Really, really bizarre story. We'll have the rundown of all of the details here throughout the segment, but Tom, your initial reactions. It's one of the stranger stories I think we'll see all off-season, yep. you, you would imagine. So, a whole lot to unpack here. I guess the big thing is that, honestly, terrible loss of life there. Mm. Secondly, for Janoris Jenkins to lose what was described as a family friend, and now his brother to the, to, to the aggravated manslaughter charge. Got to feel bad for Jenkins on that end. So what apparently happened was on Tuesday, uh, house cleaners found the body, called the police, of course. The police said, okay, this looks like a, a homicide, a strangulation slash suffocation incident. And then about five hours ago today, Jenkins, uh, the, the older one, William, was described as a person of interest. Sure. And then about four hours later, he's been charged with, with aggravated manslaughter. So a very quick turnaround on that. And, and apparently since Tuesday, he's been held in Ontario County, New York for a parole violation. So a whole lot of different stuff going on there, Cam, and a very, very unusual and sad story as well. Yeah, so the cause of death was deemed highly suspicious. The case was being treated as a homicide and still is to this point, obviously. And... William Jenkins, not exactly devoid of being in trouble. And uh, obviously because of that warrant being out and what have you. So Janoris Jenkins has yet to really release an official statement in regards to this, to have any real comment on this situation. Obviously it's an ongoing investigation, Tom, but in terms of tying in Janoris to all of this, there's probably no connection. There's not like there's gonna be a suspension or anything he's, like that. He's been in Florida. He's yep. been in Florida, so it sounds like Janora says that's nothing to do with this. Let's, let's make that very clear as well. Maybe the stranger part of this was a report from Diane Rossini of ESPN who said on Monday night, a man claiming to be Janora Jenkins' brother was on a JetBlue flight from New York to Fort Lauderdale to go meet up with Janoris, but the man caused delays because he was too scared to fly and eventually got off the plane. And other witnesses have said that the man that they saw at the, at the, at the airport and on, on the plane looked a lot like William Jenkins. So apparently, if this report is to be believed, William was trying to fly to Florida to go meet with Janoris on Monday night. I don't, I don't think we, we have the cause or the time of death yet for, for the victim, but it kind of sounds like to me like, if the, if the charges are accurate, that William, since it's manslaughter accidentally or in a fit of rage or whatever, not planned, killed Roosevelt, panicked, and was going to go fly to meet up with Janoris to figure out what to do next, I guess. Look, I'm not going to try to play NCIS or anything like that. It's true. But Tom, trying to connect the dots here between that incident that you just mentioned and the death of Roosevelt Rene, it's almost hard to really draw any sort of connection between the two. Yeah. So it just makes you wonder. It's all very strange and all very confusing. It's very, it? very strange. Yeah. And then we're going to learn more about this. We'll report oh, yeah. on it as we see fit. But as we stand right now, Janoris Jenkins, the New York he's Giants, the they're fine. Yeah, all is good right now. His lawyers but, told him to stay in yep. Florida for the time being. 